Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. At the Duel of the Hundred, the hero will meet with dark powers of purest chaos. If you fail to the Hundred, the chaos world grows into purity heart fades, and as that happens, the hero will fall to the world where all games are ended. That's in the section of the light prognosticus that I just deciphered. It seems to suggest that if you fail to pass these duels, all worlds will be ruined. And apparently your lives will be lost along with the purity heart. I know that what I have just shared with you might only serve to discourage you. I still must send you forth, however. It saddens me that I can do nothing else. Okay. Hi, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. And we have a lot of exploring to do yet. So, we've opened the world, we've opened World 6. But, like, there's still a ton of stuff we can do. Like, there's a whole trade sequence, um, and, uh, some other things. So just bear with me, and when we get this whole kind of world thing figured out, uh, I didn't mean to read that sign, um, we'll, uh, you know, we'll be better. <laughs> I promise. I promise eventually we'll get back to playing the game. Okay. Well, we might as well take care of some... ...cudge blocking stuff or whatever. Um... Oh, there's a... There's the next heart pillar, actually. It's just kind of painfully obvious. Um... Which we won't have to worry about for a while. So, right now I'm looking for, um... A, uh, a hole I can fall down? I think it's right here. There we go. Got it. Oh, we don't have to run over all the stuff. There we go. Alright, and we got a berry card. Awesome. So, there you go. Hidden in the basement of, uh, flap side, there's a berry card. It's good to know. Good to know. Anywho, Ugh. so uh, I think you want to run around this. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Perfect stuff. Take that. Does that open the? I don't know. I was gonna say I, I thought it opened the pit of a hundred trials or whatever on this side because there's two of them in case I haven't mentioned that. And we got a power plus. Okay, cool. Um. Power plus and HP plus are two of the they're the two best items of the game. The HP one raises your hit points by five permanently, and the power one um, raises it raises your attack by one permanently. So we'll use that. And now we're one point stronger. Awesome. Good stuff. Well, that's good to know. I mean, that's actually helpful as opposed to cooking discs and things like that. So, all right. I'm not really sure, um, I'm trying to cover as much as possible so we don't have to come back. We're gonna have to come back at some point, but, well, obviously there's a heart pillar down here and stuff, but, so anywho, oh yeah, we can't go that way. I get disoriented really easily, um, so forgive me. Okay. And I... I do need to say, um, I saw in level 5-3, there's a big boulder, like I was watching back one of the videos, there's a big boulder in the background that you can obviously blow up with, uh, with Boomer, and, uh, I did go and check that out, and it's a room full of coins, that's all it is, so we won't be going back for it, um, so there you go, uh, but I, I, I would have felt I would have felt like an idiot if I hadn't gone back and checked it out, so. Okay. So, now things will get, um, well, I'd like to say they'll get interesting, but they won't. Um, they're gonna stay boring for a bit, people, so. Sorry about that. Alright, and so we talked to one fortune teller lady. And this is the other one that we have to talk to, so... Hee 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 hee! I've been waiting, heroes! You want to ask me about a crystal ball? No. There's nothing to fear, I'm Mer lovely. It is my job to know the future. Merlee sent you, did she not? Yes, I have readied the ball, please take it. 
Or I'd like to say that, but there's something I must first ask of you. I know I do not look like it, but I am in training. I told something, someone about it, and they said they had some useful equipment. But I have been so busy that I haven't had a chance to pick it up yet. The kind fellow who offered me the equipment is the Flip Wizard Vestobius. It really would it would really help me out if you could agree to Heck! Cough! Would you agree to go to his house and pick it up? If you do that, then I will give you this crystal ball. Vestobius' house is beyond Flipside's Tower Red Door on Lind Lindlin Road. Okay, so now we have to go to Vestobius and ask him for his exercise equipment. And I don't mean to ruin any surprises, but he's not gonna give it to us. He's gonna ask us for something else. And the person we have to go to for that, they're not going to give it to us either. They're going to ask us for something else. So this is going to take a bit. So. <clears throat> okay. And we will do the whole trade sequence, because at the end we get something really cool. So, um, And this is... Um, it just opened up. You can't do it until you do um, the six levels we did. So. Okay, so this thing is... Greetings, Gourmet. Welcome to the high-tech database of food, the dining specializer. That's a dining specializer. It gives ingredient lists for your favorite... Okay, so you can upload your discs into this thing. And it'll list all the items you can cook. So, um... It really is not... Uh... The most crucial kind of thing to do in the game. But if you don't want to keep running to the internet, it's not bad. I mean, obviously you can get all of this, so it'll ask you, you have cooking desk W, you have to increase the... Yeah, of course, yeah, sure. There's six of these, and we've... We can get five now. Um, the sixth one, we have to wait till one of the worlds in... World 7, like 7-3 or something? I don't know when I see it. It's 7-3 or 7-4. So yeah, I mean, it'll show us... Like, you can find something, in it and it'll tell you, like, made with mild cheese and a cocoa shroom, or whatever. That wasn't what it said, but... Um... Yeah, summons a ghost shroom, and then it says, go to go to not-so-shop in Flopside. Get it at the itty-bitty in Flopside. So it tells you where things that you, like, that are the ingredients used in cooking are, too. Um, and even things like turtley leaf. If you look that up, it'll say, like, Koopas sometimes drop them. So it's pretty helpful. I mean, as far as kind of in-game stuff goes. You know. Um, and the locations of the things are pretty weird, so... Ugh, the visual on this is looking not great, but... So I have to put up with that. Sorry, everybody. Alright. Um, I'm gonna drop some stuff in the shop, because... Uh, there's somewhere I want to go, and I want to make sure I don't have a full complement of items. So, we're going to store some stuff that we're not going to use right away, like the Mighty Tonic. Um, and, like, the Shooting Star. Uh, we'll probably never use that, actually. Like, the, the Shooting Star. You can cook it into something called a Meteor Meal. Uh, that sells for, like, uh, just a ton of gold. Like, 200 gold. So... That's probably what we'll be doing with that. It's okay, good to know, right? Alright. So now, we have some business in the basement. Of all the craziness. So, if we go down here in the water, um, first off, there's Captain Gills. Um, and as we advance through the game, Captain Gills will get bigger and bigger. So, we will be checking on Captain Gills every once in a while. So, greetings, name's Flim, freelance sales freak, fully licensed and bonded. Sell anything, sell to anyone, sell big, sell up, and sell now, my slogan trademarked. I sell stuff that's so hard to find, not even I can find it. Yeah, you heard me right. So, look, then buy. And this guy will sell weird stuff, like... But things like the big egg are pretty cool, like, and he sells, the stuff he sells is usually cheaper than in the, the store. But he'll also occasionally have cards. So, we're gonna buy the, the spiny thwomp card. Or spiny tromp card, I take it back. Hey, okay, is it a deal? Yeah, it's a deal. So that's good. Spiny tromp card. And we'll be checking in with him every once in a while, too, to, like, see that he, because he, he will get different cards. 
so. And then here's an itty bitty store, and these stores are everywhere. There's one by the big tree, um, in 3-3. Three, three. There's one in Cragnon World, um, there's one in Flipside, there's one in Flopside, and there are going to be ones further in the game, too. And they also things like this. Cake Mix, Big Egg, Honey Jar. Big Egg's actually a really good buy. It restores 12 hit points, and cures poison, and is cheaper than a Shroom Shake. So buy one. Thanks a bitty bunch! So, and the shop points carry over. To the little shops. Um. So yeah, so there's one here, and obviously we there's one in flop side. And there's one by the big tree. I'm sure I'm missing some. Uh, there's one in downtown Craig. Um. Uh, I don't know if there's one in space or not. It would make sense. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Alright, well, we're going to be going back down. Because we have to see the arcade. We're not going to play any of the arcade games this video because that would take up a lot of time. So, and we don't have a ton of money. But we will. Sh I'll show you where the arcade is. Actually, when you go in the door, you can see the pipe. But you run all the way over here. And there's nothing, and then just like in Flopside, you flip to this, and there you go. Secrets everywhere. All right. Oh come on, I want to talk to him. Oh, I am most pleased. Another gaming customer has found us. Welcome to the Palace of Gaming Pleasure, the arcade. I am the master of this fine establishment. You may call me the Inner Chat. It is a pleasure to rob you, I mean meet you. Now that the introductions are out of the way, let me tell you about this place. This is the arcade, a place for gamers to enjoy gaming. To play games, you must first purchase flop side to or flip side tokens. Just come see me with a few coins, and I will give you the tokens you need. But you cannot return tokens for coins, so be careful. Oh, so careful, gamer. And once you have some tokens, enter this neato entry to the left. You may play fun games until you run out of tokens. You love it, gamer. But now I have crucial information. Get a good score to receive tokens back. Collect a lot of tokens and turn them in for wonderful prizes. Play the game, get good, and then earn prizes, gamer. Oh, arcade, it is a paradise. That ends my explanation. Okay. And then you say, Eddie's. Oh, what? Hold on a moment, gamer. Is that a golden card you clutch in your hand? You say, yeah. Pardon my insolence value, gamer. Please access our elite game immediately. You can play a new game. So then, Value Gamer, how would you... And that, you can buy tokens, and so... And you can trade for items, and I'll show you both. Ten tokens for 30 coins is really all you need to do, because the cheapest game is ten tokens. And you'll break... You'll get a score that pays you back more than ten. We don't want any more. Um... So, anyway, um... And then, like, we'll take a look at the items. Yes, I didn't want to do that. Trade for items. Okay, and like these are the things you can get. Like, eh, Shooting Star, Waka Bump, um, Amazing Daisy card. I actually, the Amazing, Amazing Daisy is not a hard... I, I think we can get that with a Catch Card SP. Um, but you can get an HP Plus or a, a Strength Plus. For 25,000, or 2,500 tokens though. And these are your four games. And the two on the top and the one on the, the left, Tilt Island, those are the standard games. And then, like, the Hammer one is the Elite game. And the Hammer one you can score the hell out of. Like, that's the one you earn a lot of tokens on. It's long. It's 100 levels. And I've played it through all 100 levels. So. Um. The other ones, like the Boo Mansion one, is kind of fun. Um, Tilt Island is a pain in the ass, and the, mem and the memory one, the Don't for Forget Me Not, like that one's just, it's awful. Okay. So let's see. We did cooking discs, and we got the golden ticket, and I showed you the arcade, and we accessed the next heart pillar. So, we have to finish our trade sequence, and I want to go get... The I want to go get the Wacka Bump from, or the Wacka Bump from uh, 
and show you the store in 5-1. So we'll do that. Um, and then we'll start the trade sequence. And when the trade sequence is done, and I will try to abbreviate that as much as I can, um, then uh, we will go into World 6. Okay, Land of Kragnons. We want 5-1. So I'm sorry about this. I mean, again, I'm sorry that we didn't kind of keep up with this stuff and that we had to do it all in these videos, but... You know, it gives us a chance to talk. We don't talk very often. Like, actually talk about the game. It's usually me doing stupid voices and laughing at myself. And Flint Cragley is now on the podium. Alright, so here's our itty-bitty store in downtown Crag. And we can buy a Keel Mango or a Mild Cocoa Bean. Eh, we'll buy a Mild Cocoa Bean. This is the only place I've ever seen them, so it just makes sense. If we're going to cook something with them later, we, can, we could always just try to cook something fun. I don't know. There may be stuff that you access by cooking certain things, and I, 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 I don't know yet. I'm in the process of doing research to kind of better clean up the game. Um, and alright, so then there's a little hole over here in the wall. And, uh, down the pipe we go. Simple stuff, right? And then we want to be big because there are actually, we want to collect these coins in 3D. So. And I also kind of want to show you something. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to keep collecting even after our 3D runs out. And there you go. You take a, you take a point of damage, but your, your meter fills back up. And sometimes that makes sense. You know, I'm learning that with this game. Sometimes it makes sense to just stay in 3D and take the damage. Because it means one point. You know, so. Just a strategy thought. Alright, and here he is. So, Waku, I'm Waka! Just another perfect picture day here in Craig. Makes me feel like nothing bad could happen on a day like today. Waka do! Jump on him. Waka! Oh, don't stop me! All right, and we got a whack a bomb. And the thing fills 30 hit points and cures poison. And was free. All we had to do was jump on that stupid thing. All right, and there's our fifth cooking dish. So, and we can just jump back. We don't have to go back underwater. You know, actually, now that I think about it, we, we don't even have to run through the stupid tunnel. Um, all right, uh, we're gonna shut it down, and when I come back, we'll do the trade. So, um, you guys take care, and thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.